So I learned Adina when I was, oh, I was so young. I think I was about 20. She was the first big role I ever studied and ever sang on the stage. Throughout my career, she's developed and changed for me because I have developed and changed. So every time I play her, I always try to find something new and bring a bit of my womanly personality into her. There are so many joys of performing her. It's just the perfect soprano tessitura that sort of builds up as the opera goes along. Her music in the beginning sounds a bit more confident, without insecurity at all. The vocal line is a bit more bold, it's a bit more out there, let's say, just without any sort of fear. So as it that no 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 see 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 no 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 I see it's very nice to play a character that socially represents myself or modern women There's so much to do with her she has such a wide personality playing her theatrically it's never boring it's never stagnant she's a very colorful person and being Latina, I think I'm pretty colorful too. <laughs> so it's nice to be able to instill a lot of myself, like my own heartbeat, my own colorful personality into someone like her. She's been pretty awful to Nemorino thus far in the whole opera, and uh, she knows that. I'm actually really glad that she can acknowledge it because again, it shows that Adina is far more empathetic than she presents herself. We get to see that character arc from Adina. And it is amazing how you can hear that transition from the beginning of the opera to then the end of the opera musically. It's really quite masterful.